Hey there football fans! Welcome back to our Women's World Cup daily coverage, bringing you all the latest updates from the tournament in Australia and New Zealand. I'm your host and today we've got some exciting news to share. First up, let's talk about the thrilling match between France and Brazil. France managed to edge out Brazil with a 1-0 victory, extending their unbeaten streak against Brazil. This one puts France at the top of Group F, and they only need a point against Panama to secure a place in the knockout rounds. The heroes of the match were Eugenie Lou Sommer and Wendy Renard, the oldest and most experienced players in the French team, who scored a goal each. It was a much improved performance from France, and they truly deserved the win. Next, we have an update on England midfielder, Kira Walsh. Good news is she has avoided a serious ACL injury, but she is still a major doubt for the rest of the tournament. Walsh is regarded as one of the world's best players, so her absence would be a setback for England. Let's hope she recovers soon. Colombia coach Nelson Abadia has confirmed that forward Linda Caicedo is fit to face Germany. There was a scare during training, but it turns out it was just due to the stress of making her debut in the World Cup. Caicedo is an important player for Colombia, so this is great news for their upcoming match. Now, let's talk about the Spanish team. They have decided to leave their World Cup base in Palmerston North and head to Wellington for the next week. Sources tell us that logistics were behind this decision, as they wanted to be closer to the stadium and have a better chance of playing in Wellington if they top Group C. The Spanish team has been enjoying their time at their base, but sometimes you have to make a change for the better. Moving on to the USWNT camp, there's a dilemma surrounding Julie Ertz and her best position for the team. Our reporter Jeff Carlisle has the latest on this situation, so be sure to check out his report. In other news, Sweden thrashed Italy in a 5-0 victory, securing their place in the knockout rounds. Three of their goals came from set plays, proving that defending against Sweden's set pieces is no easy task. Left-back Jonna Andersson has been causing a lot of trouble with her in-swinging deliveries. Sweden is definitely a team to watch out for in this tournament. Unfortunately, injuries continue to plague the Women's World Cup. Kira Walsh's injury was a hammer blow for England, but thankfully it has been confirmed that there is no ACL injury. The players in this tournament are facing a brutal workload, with many of them having only a week or two off after the end of the domestic seasons. More breaks for the players is something that needs to be addressed in the future. Now for some good news for Australia. Sam Kerr, the captain of the Matildas, is available to play if selected against Canada in their final group game. Kerr had to sit out the first two matches due to a calf injury, but she's ready to make her mark in this crucial match. Lastly, we have a feature on why everyone should be worried about Germany. Despite their patchy form coming into the World Cup, Germany found their best play at just the right time and secured a 6-0 win over Morocco. They have a tough match against Colombia but if they can handle the physicality and play their attacking football, they will be a force to be reckoned with. That's all for today's Women's World Cup Daily. Be sure to stay tuned for more updates and exciting matches ahead. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.